Ariola from Amherst Hypnosis. I'm so excited to have a chance to talk to you because people are so interested in something like hypnosis because they don't understand how it works, and, and which, which I don't, so I was happy to get a chance to talk to you. But I didn't understand that it can be used for these good purposes like uh, changing people's smoking habits or losing weight or reducing stress. How, how does that, how can hypnosis help those issues? Well, what happens is, is that many people will go to the doctor and the doctor will say, we well, ought to quit smoking, you should lose weight, you should stop having three glasses of wine at night, or you should, your, your blood sugars are too high. But they never tell them how to change your behavior. And it's not what you eat, it's how you think that affects your eating behavior, your smoking behavior, because all our habits are based on our thoughts, okay? If you, uh, if you, if you smoke, or people will say to me, oh, I love my bad habits, I just love to eat, or, well, you gotta die from something, and that's a negative <laughs> self-hypnotic suggestion, okay? And they, they'll, you know, you know they, so what I do is I help them to change their thinking about their habits. So I use what I call the Barbie doll suggestion. When the kids are little, they play with Barbies, the little boys play with cars and trucks, and then they hit a certain age, they outgrow. You know, a certain age, the girls don't want to play with Barbies anymore. The kids don't want to play with trucks anymore. So there's no conflict whatsoever. So, so if you outgrow the smoking habit, if you outgrow overeating, or if you think differently about getting stressed out, it, it's not a conflict. Like, I, I smoked and quit in 85, but I've, I've outgrown the habit. Had I kept smoking, I would have been a train wreck. I couldn't have, you know, I wouldn't be able to breathe today. So the idea with the hypnosis is to change the thinking of, of, of what you think, and, and it's a process. Everyone loves their bad habits. There's no criticism. I mean, it's just human nature. We all love, we all, all love our chicken wings and our, and our beer and our, in our, our cake, our donuts, he heavy rich desserts and all that. I'm talking so, for myself. So, so what I do is I, is I place people into a relaxed conscious, it's a conscious meditative state, like a daydream, and then I give them the suggestion that you're older, wiser, and smarter, and you're starting to outgrow the cigarette habit. You're phasing out the smoking the same way you started, a few at a time. I don't like to do a one-shot miracle cure for any habit, because if people have been smoking for 40 years, you're not going to quit overnight, or if you've been, if you're 50 pounds overweight, I tell them we take baby steps. Okay, it's it's like the old saying, how to eat an elephant, one spoonful at a time. You, you're not <laughs> going to do it all at once. So, so the idea is is that you use the power of suggestion. Now, women use hypnosis all the time. They they'll fix their husband a nice dinner. They get a little little romantic, and then they go. And by the way, could we take this cruise? Or could I get the new washing machine? Could I get the new couch? You're so right. Could I get the new furniture for the living room? Yeah. Could I get a new car? My old one is so mm -hmm. terrible. And, and that's, I don't think that's hypnosis. I, I don't think of it as hypnosis. That's, but that's, it's a power. Or, or for example, if you need to ask for a half a day when you're at work and you mm -hmm. need to ask for a half a day off for a doctor's appointment, and the boss is in his office and he's screaming at the top of his lungs at a supplier, you go, never mind, and you wait till he's in a good mood to right. say, and by the way, I need Thursday Tomorrow off, off. Yeah. for a doctor's appointment, okay? Does it take a long time? I mean, like you said, it can't just be one visit, for example, to get this, get your thinking the way you need it, the way you want it? Not necessarily. If someone, I have seen people who are, who are dramatically motivated and you I had I had one client that quit a five pack a day habit with one visit. Oh wow. I almost fell off my chair. I couldn't believe it. He smoked five packs a day and I have a special technique that I use called the nuke and I bring him in and out of hypnosis six or seven times in the same session and the guy quit a five pack a day habit. And and so if if you're motivated, if you have the real fire in the belly to, to change a habit, you will change that habit. And, and nothing's wild horses are not going to keep you from it. That's what I was going to ask you. Uh, like we were talking before about uh, hypnosis on cruise ships or as entertainment on a stage. Does it have to be a certain 
you're saying motivation. It has to be a certain type of person that you can use hypnosis on. Well, there's a difference between therapeutic hypnosis and stage hypnosis. Now, a stage subject, you could say boo to, and they'll go into a deep trance. <laughs> a therapeutic subject takes a longer induction, but there's, I'm a good subject, but I'm not a stage subject because I'm, I'm too inhibited to get up there and, and do weird things. Me too. <laughs> but but if, if you, hypnosis is so powerful that if you ever see it in the movies, they never show the entire hypnotic induction. If you watch an episode of MASH, uh, the psychiatrist will say, focus on this pen, and then they cut away after he brings him out of it because you'll hypnotize half the audience. Oh, really? Yeah, half, half the audience we, will be. We should use that to get people to watch you know, if, in case they're not watching WBBZ. Right. We could, we could use that. Right. right? I, I, I never thought about that. Now, how can people reach out to you? How can they find you if they want to? They can call to? me. I'm on the web, amhersthypnosis.net, and then they can call me at 839-3632. And is it very expensive? I mean, no, I, what, I'm, is reason, very... I'm very reasonably priced, and, and, and if people, if money's tight, I throw in an extra visit for them. I'm, I'm pretty flexible. How did you become a hip, uh, hypnotist? Well, my dad was a doctor, and when I was a kid, my mother had my younger sister with hypnosis in, in, in childbirth, so the doctor would come to her house, oh come to the house and prepare her for hypnosis. So years later, I got a degree in biology, and one day I was visiting my parents, and there was this brochure on the counter for a class in medical hypnosis. And my dad was an anesthesiologist. So I said, to him, well, aren't you going to go to this? This looks really interesting. He said, no, I'm too busy. So I went. You went. <laughs> and I've been doing it ever since. And uh, it's, you've had a long, you've been doing it a long time. I've got to ask you that. 1989. 1989. Yeah. So and, you're really yeah, experienced. Certified with the National Guild of Hypnotists. It's, and it's, and actually, I enjoy it. I, I work with a variety, variety, wide variety of people for, I've helped them pass the bar exam, nursing exams. I've helped people with their golf game. Oh my gosh. Uh, I've helped young athletes with better focus, better concentration. Uh, There's so many uses for it. There's so many, as you said, so many variety of people that can, you know, get help by you. We thank you so much. It was so fascinating to talk to you. You can connect with Louis Seal at Amherst Hypnosis by calling 716-839-3632 and online at amhersthypnosis.net. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of The Big Picture. Remember to like WBBZ on Facebook and join the conversation on Twitter. I'm Judge Penny Wolfgang. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.